all of a sudden we heard the big boom and then I looked over to the side, it was another boom, but it was like sparkles coming out of a car. This woman describing last night's dangerous incident as hundreds of people watch the city's firework display. Good evening, I'm Louis Tran. Welcome to Fort Wayne's NBC News at 5. Tom Powell and Linda Jackson have the night off. As Jeff Newmeyer reports, bystanders watching last night's fireworks show were distracted as a car caught fire with fireworks exploding from inside. Jeff joins us with the latest. You can see that there are, there are places on the pavement where it looks dark colored. Also, maybe even some spots where it looks like it may have melted. There was a car between 10 and 10.30 Sunday night that pulled up here and was stopped. It was burning near the intersection with Webster Street. There were some eyewitness accounts. The people were ducking in the area as uh, fireworks were exploding. And that was happening all the while they were shooting fireworks off the top of the Indiana Michigan Power Building. You had lots of people in the area enjoying the holiday fireworks display, and they got a close-up look at the incident on Main Street. Several people took video of the fire on their smartphones and posted it to social media sites. At times, you can hear popping sounds in the recordings. Fort Wayne Deputy Fire Chief Adam O'Connor telling me everybody in the car escaped without serious injury. Three people in total were in the car. When you look at the size of the flames and think about those explosions, it was a pretty fortunate outcome. There were fireworks in the passenger compartment of the vehicle. Why they ignited, it's not clear. Listen to accounts of people who were nearby when things got crazy. All of a sudden, we heard a lot of noise coming from right over there on Main. I couldn't believe it. It was, it was unbelievable. <laughs> the car was just completely engulfed in flames. Yeah. I didn't know if someone was in the car or not. Everyone just stood around watching. I don't know how much fireworks it was, but it seemed like it had to be plenty for it to do what it did and caught on fire that big. Uh, they got here and took care of it pretty quick? Or? No, it took a minute, but yeah. yeah, but they got here. But I'm glad no one was in it. It was like you had fireworks downtown, but you also had fireworks on Main Street with that car. And the fireworks on the car just... Uh, turned into one heck of a hot fire. Again, there were explosions going off inside the car before fire crews could get on scene and get the situation under control. According to Deputy Chief O'Connor, looking for something to be learned from this uh, startling fire. Well, if you're carrying fireworks in your vehicle, he was saying, put them, put them in the trunk. Don't uh, keep them up front with you because then if they would inadvertently get ignited, uh, during transport and burn and explode, there will be less risk to life and limb. I'm Jeff Neumeyer reporting. 